Ladies and gents, welcome back to another episode of Mike's Gourmet Kitchen. In today's video, we are preparing another South African recipe. It's part of our heritage. It's called Malkos. Now, directly to English, it translates to milk food. It's basically a mixture of milk and some cake flour rolled up in some butter with some cinnamon. It's absolutely delicious. If you guys do enjoy today's video, please remember to drop a like down below, comment and subscribe. Let's get cooking. Okay, so first up, what we're going to start with, we're going to need about 90 grams of cake wheat flour, add them to our bowl, and also about three tablespoons of some nice butter. You can use salted butter or not, and the recipe does require that you, that you add a pinch of salt. If you're using salted butter, no need to add the salt. So we'll have this, put some flour in a bowl, and then also a pinch of salt. So we'll add those to our bowl, and let's get started. Okay, let's start off. We'll add about six tablespoons of flour. That's about 90 grams. It's not an exact science. We'll add a dash of cinnamon. Not too much, about a quarter of a teaspoon. That's just to introduce some flavor into the buttery little dough balls that we're going to be making. Little crum uh, crumbles. In Afrikaans it's called frimmels. It literally means rolled up butter and flour. It's a verb, so <laughs> we know it's legit. Okay, so let's go ahead and actually add our butter to our flour and give it a nice roll through. You'll feel it makes these little crumbs or frimmels. That's when you know your, your mixture is ready. So we'll move on and mix in the totality of this butter. You don't want to, to make the butter too soft. It'll just end up changing into a dough. So you want to use pretty solid butter. Don't let the butter defrost too much. You can start off by breaking them down into little pieces. My butter is a bit hard. I just took it out of the fridge now. I forgot about it completely. In the meanwhile, while we wait for this, or while we're busy with this, I'm going to put 1.5 liters of milk on the stove and we'll get it to a light simmer. Once it starts to froth, we'll add this flour and butter mixture to the milk and start mixing it through. So the texture and the size all depends on you. If you prefer a big little butter dough ball like that, you can add those to your mix. It's not a, um, it's not a specific way to make milk, of course. It's, it's mostly a dish of preference. So the best way to do is, is it almost comes out the same as sago. If you cook sago pudding, it's very similar. That's about the size of the crumbles that we want in our flour and butter. And there we go. So we can see our frimmels or our little, little dough butter mixture. That's what it looks like. I've got different bits and sizes in there, so I prefer it. And now moving on. This will be our serving sugar. So we want about 100 grams of sugar. This is what will add that sweetness with the cinnamony taste afterwards. So we'll add about 100 grams of sugar and one teaspoon of cinnamon powder. We'll take our spoon, give it a nice mix through. That smell is absolutely amazing and it just uplifts the flavor and brings out that nice creaminess with the sweet taste of the sugar and the cinnamon aftertones when you eat your Malkos. Okay, there we go, quick and simple. So this recipe will typically take you about five minutes to prepare and about 15 minutes to cook. Let's move on to preparing our milk. Alrighty, moving on. I'm just grabbing my good old trusty non-stick pot. It's about a three liter pot. Let's get some heat going. The secret here is you don't want to burn the milk. So once it starts to get to a simmer, turn the heat down all the way. So it just keeps a very low simmer. Nothing tastes as bad as burnt milk and it will mess up the entire flavor profile. You try to continue with it while you are preparing your milk food or malkos. Our first 500 ml. Perfect. That gives us about two minutes to get up to the boil and then we'll turn it down to a simmer. 
Okay, so our milk has started to froth. We'll go ahead and add our frimmels. Now, if you want it to have a thick, chunky consistency, don't um, mix it with a whisk, rather use a wooden spoon. I've turned the heat down all the way now. And mix this for a few seconds. Make sure there's no big lumps. Okay, there we go. Also, if you do run into a bit of a snag, if it's too runny for your liking, mix up some more flour and some more butter, just add it to that. Do it a half cup at a time, so it's nice and thick. If you prefer it a bit more runny, more like a soup type texture, rather add some more milk, start with about quarter cups at a time until you get your desired consistency. I'm gonna continuously stir this now for about 10 minutes and then we'll leave it to simmer for about five. Now, while it's mixed through, I'm gonna take some of that sugar that we mixed up with the cinnamon and add about one tablespoon in total. Uh, you don't necessarily need to do this. People will frown upon you if, you if you try this. I prefer the whole dish sweet and I like to infuse that cinnamon and the sugar in the taste beforehand and you can just add some more sweetness afterwards if you prefer. And there we go. After we mix it through for about 10 minutes, I left it to simmer. Have a look at that thick consistency. It's so delicious. Now, let's dish them up and give it a taste. Beautiful, all dished up. Now, we'll grab some of the sugar that we made earlier with the cinnamon. You can use white sugar also, it's not a problem. Just add a little bit more on top. And that's it. Now for the best part of the video, let's give it a taste. And that is it. So quick, so simple to prepare, and it's so cheap but absolutely delicious. You can either have this as a dessert, a starter, a main, whichever way you like. Let's give it a bite. It's creamy, it's sweet, it's got an aftertaste of cinnamon. I think one thing I do, I would change maybe next time, I'd even add some vanilla maybe. It's got a very similar texture to Saho pudding, but it's absolutely delicious. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, drop a like down below, comment and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.